all right what is up fam j rock here with you again as always and uh game cop nation oh it's been a crazy day uh game cop twitter has been blowing up so definitely some things to get to uh but real quick before we get into that uh, a couple housekeeping things first of all i want to say i'm sorry guys that i haven't uh made uh, any videos really recently uh, i've been pretty busy uh, first of all with the work and then also i've been doing uh, some imagery uh work and some video production stuff behind the scenes um working on uh hopefully trying to uh, bring you guys uh quite a bit of things here over the next couple weeks uh, i did drop a, a video on jc horn earlier uh, so make sure you're checking that out. Make sure you, that if you haven't already that you're subscribed to the channel. I would appreciate it. If you're enjoying the content, please hit the thumbs up button. Also share this on, on all platforms, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're at. And uh, if you want to see my uh, image, my photo work uh, that I do, uh, I do uh, post, you know, I have that stuff on my Twitter. So make sure you're following me at jrock underscore media that's at jrock underscore media and then i also post it to the game cop nations uh game cop nation facebook group uh, so you can see it there as well um and uh also as you can tell i did officially change the name of the channel to uh jrock media uh that is permanent uh this is kind of a brand something that i'm trying to really grow uh hopefully something that i get to do full time eventually one day uh but you know so we'll see uh and i can definitely get there with you guys support uh so if you consider doing that uh, i'd greatly appreciate it um but other than that that's it so without further ado no more wasting time talking about that stuff let's get into it so coach uh bobo offensive coordinator former offensive coordinator that is uh for the south carolina gamecocks uh, is now with the Auburn Tigers uh, as he leaves for the Plains and he uh, takes offensive line coach Will Friend with him. And, you know, I mean, people, <laughs> uh, there's been a lot said about this. You know, a lot of people are mad uh, at Bobo. Um, you know, there's been the whole snake reference thing and all this other stuff. Um, I, I'll say this, uh, you know, I mean, the guy wants to go make more money, so, I mean, in a way, I mean, I don't blame him for that, but still, I mean, you shouldn't really make it seem like you really love a place and that you're committed to it uh, if you're just as easily going to up and leave it like he has. Uh, so, and it's like I've said uh, already, uh, you know, on Twitter, on YouTube, stuff today, uh, you know, if he wasn't fully committed, then I'm glad he's going elsewhere. Uh, because going forward to build this uh, this program the way that it needs to be built uh, from the inside out, um, it all starts with the right foundation, and that right foundation includes people who are committed to the University of South Carolina, to this program, uh, and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So, you know, hey, I mean, uh, you know, if he wants to take off for Auburn, uh, let him. You know, and same thing with a uh, you know, coach friend. Uh, and then also, there's also talks that coach, uh, defensive lines coach Tracy Rocker is looking um, to possibly go elsewhere, uh, particularly, uh, it has been talked about him maybe taking an NFL job. Uh, there's been some interest there. It's been reported. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But look, you know, guys, I mean, and of course, you know, no, this isn't a dumpster fire and the ship is not sinking um you know don't for those of you out there who may be panicking and stuff just calm down just just relax trust the process trust in coach beamer i think coach beamer knows what he's doing i i think he's got a good plan still and i'm pretty sure he's got some other candidates lined up um you know i don't think that just because you know uh bobo left that's now all of a sudden gonna leave us high and dry and then you know <laughs> without an offensive coordinator uh for the moment but you know uh, I think we'll get somebody. Let's talk about potential candidates. So, of course, you know, somebody who's been in the mix since the beginning, Garrett Riley. Um, you know, now, they had some guys transfer into to that program there at uh, SMU from some other places. And it seems like they continue to move forward with him. But, you know, we still could, you know, he, he still could come to uh, Columbia. Uh, and I think... I think uh, another thing was too because you know um, with you know with Beamer 
with Coach Beamer, whether he had Bobo as the offensive coordinator or not, he was still going to retain him in some way. And if he bought, brought Riley uh, onto staff, uh, he probably would have tried to have made uh, Coach Bobo like a like a co OC or something like that. And I think uh, I think Riley wants to be strictly the OC. Uh, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, but you know, there's him. Probably a couple other guys out there. Uh, that would be some solid hires. And, you know, hey, for what it's worth, which not that, not saying that it's likely or, you know, how much he would be interested or anything else, but, you know, personally, in my opinion, I don't think Gus Malzahn's that bad of a play caller. I think he's pretty good. So, you know, I mean, I wouldn't even really be upset if maybe he was the offensive coordinator, but we'll find somebody, guys, so don't worry, uh, you know. And, you know, hopefully, if it is Riley, you know, he'll bring uh, offensive line coach A.J. Ricker with him um very possibly so uh and if not you know we can find a no line coach from somewhere so that's what i'm saying i mean just just relax guys you know uh, coach boomer is going to take care of it uh we just got to have that trust and that faith so uh and then of course we're still looking for a defensive coordinator it seems that Derek mason is going to be going uh going to be heading to auburn as well uh say so, you know auburn it, you know you, you just you couldn't help yourself, could you? Uh, but, you know, I'll say this. Uh, you know, keep your hand out in the cookie jar. Go get your own coaches. Jeez. But anyways, so defensive coordinator. Now, this is something I really want to hit on, though. Okay, so since it's not going to be Derek Mason. Now, of course, we know that, you know, Coach Beamer, they took the flight out, you know, to, to Starkville over there to Mississippi uh, to talk to uh Zach Arnett, the D.C. Uh, for the Bulldogs. But I'll say this. Uh, the candidate for D.C. that I'm really high on, a guy that, you know, well, he may not even be looking at us or maybe with any interest, but somebody who I would love for us to go uh, hand a blank check to is Chad Staggs, defensive coordinator for uh, Coastal Carolina. Um, you know, he does good work, and he's got that defense coached up. Um, they rank very well uh, when it comes to the stats and stuff uh, and, and where they're ranked as a defense. And he's actually been doing a good job ever since he's been uh, with uh, with Coach Chadwell because he's actually followed Coach Chadwell uh, to his last couple of stops, including now at Coastal Carolina. You know, so he's been with him at some different schools, and uh, he does a pretty good job. Biggest thing, too, is he is a former Gamecock. So, another guy we can bring back home to South Carolina. So, you know, that's who I'm high on personally. Uh, you know, just, just me speaking. But like I said, then there's also, you know, there's Arnett still. And probably some other guys out there. Uh, now, D.C. Uh, is the uh, position uh, that is uh, most in demand right now. Um, so... But I think we got a couple options there, uh, and we can go snag somebody. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much, guys. Like I said, just be calm, you know, just trust the process, and just, just have a little faith uh, in Coach Beamer. I think he'll see us through. Uh, also, defensive backs coach, of course, we did see the picture that Coach Beamer um, put out with, with him and a former defensive back, uh, Darian Stewart, uh, and Eric Henry, who was also in that uh, photo. You know, if you're looking for a DB coach, um, I think Darian Stewart would uh, be a pretty good guy for that, uh, if I must say so myself. So who knows? Maybe that's in the works. Uh, you know, my, you know, there's no official announcements on it yet, but hey, who knows? It, that could already be in the works, and we don't even know it. So we'll see uh, but you know so that's pretty much the craziness right now that's going on on you know and all the news and stuff with football so and like i say you know if people yeah people's gonna feel how they feel about bobo and what he done i mean yeah it, it was kind of messed up but you know what i'm not gonna harp on it like i said you know apparently auburn's where he wants to be so hey you know what i say uh you know don't let the door hit you on the way out yeah, you know, like I said, because all we need is all we got. All we got is all we need, and the only people that we need 
uh, at the University of South Carolina are the people who are 100% committed uh, to the program. So uh, that's pretty much how I feel about that. But you guys can uh, type away in the comments down there and just say whatever you want to about Bobo and, and friend and whatever else. So, uh, but let's move on from football now. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the basketball uh, side of things a little bit uh, with the men and women's teams. So first of all, uh, to hit on men's basketball, uh, right now uh, they sit at three and two. Uh, just got a big win over Texas A&M, uh, seventy-eight to fifty-four. Uh, you know, surprised me. Um, I mean, I had a, you know, I had a feeling uh, that we would probably win. Uh, I was hoping we would win, but I didn't think it was going to be quite like that. Um, but, you know, they come out, and, I mean, they, they were on fire for most of the game. Um, you know, Lawson with a 30-point you know, game. I mean, man, it was just, it was crazy. Uh, so, great job uh, to those guys. You know, hat goes off to them. What a way to open SEC play. Uh, so, now, you know, it's Looking forward to the next one, and you know, just got to keep it going. You're hot right now, so just keep it going. Um, game, uh, our lady Gamecocks uh, basketball. Uh, it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's been pretty good so far. Um, they sit at seven and one. Uh, they just uh, recently uh, beat a previous. Uh, previously unbeaten Alabama team uh, that was eight and zero. Uh, they beat the Tide there, seventy-seven to sixty. Uh, that was a good win for them. Um, you know, like I said, pretty good season so far. Uh, they just need to work a little bit more on consistency. Uh, you know, if they just can uh, consistently uh, bring the fire and bring the high level of play, because sometimes it's like they're really on it, but then there's been some moments where it's been kind of disjointed and they kind of get, you know. Uh, maybe off to a slow start or, you know, they kind of fizz out a little bit here and there throughout the games. But, you know, so, uh, but, you know, just working on the consistency. But other than that, um, been great. Of course, Zai Cook having an awesome uh, season so far. Uh, also, Leah Boston. Uh, but really proud of our Lady Gamecocks. They were supposed to be playing Georgia tonight. I was really looking forward to that game. But it has been postponed due to COVID reasons, which sucks. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we'll get that game rescheduled pretty soon. Uh, just got to look for news on that. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot going on uh, <laughs> for the Gamecocks now across the sports. And uh, we just got to see how this stuff shakes out. So, we'll all be watching Twitter very closely uh, here over the next couple days to see what news may break for, you know, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. Uh, and, you know, and then also – Hope, hopefully some more stuff coming uh, on the basketball front as well. Uh, but that's all I got for this one, guys. I'm going to get off of here. I uh, got so much other stuff I got to do. Like, it's crazy right now. So I barely had time to get on here and make this video. Uh, but appreciate you guys for stopping by and checking this out. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Y'all don't know how much it means to me. Uh, but this is all I got. And until next time, this is J-Rock saying peace and God bless.